What was life like in the early colonies? Although many of us vision the lives of the early colonists as the 19th century depiction of pioneer life, life in the early colonies was an adventure filled with excitement, hardship, and moral behavior. Life was extremely hard and there was a lot and there was enormous amounts of work. Life was full of excitement and danger and was very in many places lawless and decadent. Uh, one example of a hard life is of Martha Ballard. She was one of the first American women to leave behind a day-by-day diary. It, uh, she had nine kids and a husband named Ephraim, who owned a mill which was destroyed by a fire. After that, he became a surveyor, and once that didn't work out, he became a tax collector, but was put in prison for an assumed tax fraud. So Martha Ballard uh, increased her work as a midwife. She delivered over a thousand babies, and back then, uh, the rate of women that died was one in five pregnancies. In her entire career, she lost only five women and 20 babies. Oftentimes, she would have to hike and or canoe to her uh, to her job. Women would gather around the eighth month of another of their friend's pregnancy. They would eat, drink, and sit together in the days days leading up to the delivery. They would help the moms weeks for the weeks after birth too. They often made a quilt for the new mom to lay over her bed when, during the delivery. In such circumstances, it was comforting to have the women with her. Uh, they could witness her efforts to ensure a safe delivery, and they could assist with the sorrowful task of preparing an infant for burial. This was. Uh, this is a quote from Laura Ulrich. Life back then was also very exciting and dangerous. Most of the cities were by, an, by the ocean. See, the seamen had a very hard life. Many were kidnapped and forced into the service. They were often sick from lack of vitamin C or D. The menu on board was meat, sea biscuits, and alcohol. If you did something wrong, there were, very, there were many cruel punishments. They often sang sea shanties while working uh, to keep uh, a rhythm. One account that we have is of a whaling ship. The Star of the East was hunting for whales and lower the boats to give the chase. The account goes on to say the whole, that the whale attacked and turned over the small boats. All were accounted for except for one named James Bartley. They assumed he drowned. The next day they caught the whale. When they cut it open, they found the man. He was unconscious but alive. All he could remember was the throat quivering when he touched it on his way down. This was uh, a prime uh, primary source written by Ben Shattuck. Many places back then were lawless and decadent. One example is of Port Royale. It was one of the wickedest places on earth. It was settled by Puritans and was on the tip was on a tip of Jamaica. People there had a license to pirate from England, but they could only uh, do it against the Spanish, the Dutch, or the French. The port was also a major part of the sugar trade, but one day the whole city vanished. On June 7, 1692, there were three loud sounds, like thunder. 
the town began to sink into the Atlantic. I saw the earth open and swallow a multitude of people, said Reverend Dr. Heath. Uh, many thought it was God judging them. Life in the early colonies was a lot different from what we think. It was a life full of adventure, hardship, and lawless and decadent behavior. Thank you.